Hey everyone, this is Becky, Black Up Beauty 14. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of Max Factor. Now, in Max Factor, I believe it's called uh, CoverGirl in the States, which is pretty much exactly the same. Their bronzer, I know, is pretty much exactly the same like this one, but it's just got CoverGirl on it. And I know their, um, their three-in-one foundation, which Max Factor does, is pretty much exactly the same that the one CoverGirl does. Not that I'm complaining. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to hit that notification bell and share this video with your friends. And uh, follow me on Instagram, where I'll be posting a little bit of content here and there as well. So, without further ado, let us get started. Oh my gosh, I found this eyeshadow palette like all the way down the bottom of my collection. I've had this for ages. This is the uh, Smoky Eye Drama, uh, Drama Kit 2-in-1 Eyeshadow and Brow Powder in Sumptuous Gold. So I've had this for ages, so I'm going to be wearing this today. Ooh, and I'll be wearing a little bit of this one as well. I did use this one in my Instagram video. This one is the Smoky Eyes Drama Kit 2-in-1 Eyeshadow and Brow brow powder in Optilent Nudes. I hope I said that right. Optilent Nudes. So that's 01. I've already primed my lids uh, with that concealer and the setting powder. So now I'm just going to go in with that transition colour on this H&M uh, crease blending brush. I'm going to be taking that transition colour and I'm just going to be working that crease area. I've already set my lids with tape as well just to help give me that shape, the shape that's going on. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's like the perfect transition colour. I absolutely love it and they blend, I've heard so many people saying they blend really nicely as well, these Max Vector um, shadows, and they do as well, they blend so nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with that the very darkest colour in that gold colour and I'm going to start emphasising, I'm going to start by applying this on the top crease. I want to do sort of like a, a cut crease look today so I'm just going to grab that on a small little um, studio brush, this is from Superdrug and I'm just going to try and work that in the crease area. I don't know, I'm just I'm feeling a very smoky cut crease feeling today. I'm just going to apply that. I'm going to go back in with that transition colour that I used and I'm just going to start blending because this is quite a dark colour so we're just going to go on top of it just sort of blend it out wow this transition colour is so pigmented oh my god so I'm just going to just try and buff out that dark edge out a little bit just to make it a bit more softer right I'm now going to take um, that darker colour that was in the um, Optimum Nudes palette I'm going to go with that one because I feel like going a bit more darker. So I'm going to take that same brush because I've just wiped off that excess. Just taking that, get my mirror in position, and I'm just going to bring that around here as well because why not? More is more. I'll make it a little bit more dark and smoky because this one is actually darker than the other one. Right, now I'm going to start cutting my lid. So I'm going to go in with my Max Factor concealer, take it on an angled brush, and I'm just going to start by cutting it. So I'm just going to apply it on the Uh-huh. Okay, so that's where I'm cutting from. Okay, okay. I'm just going to start cutting that lid. Okay, now I've cut my eyelid. Um, not too sure I was meant to cut that far away, but oh well. Anyway, so I'm gonna be taking all three of those colors from the Sumptuous Golds. I'll be taking the light one, the medium bronze color, and the very dark color. So I'm gonna start with the light gold color first. I'm gonna start applying that in the inner corner and then bring the middle color in the middle and then the darkest color at the end. I think you get what I'm saying. So, okay, so starting off with the gold, I'm going to take a small brush, just a small little one here, taking the gold colour, I'm going to start by working that 
in the inner corner. Oh, hello. Oh, that's pigmented. Let's start by working that halfway. And then put the other colour there in the other colour. Now applying that middle colour. I'm going to apply that dark brown colour with the sponge that came with it. Oh yeah, these did come with a sponge applicator. Came with these two. So, why not? Just use the sponge applicator to apply the brown. So, right, I'm going to add a little bit of liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to be using the Master Precision High Precision Liquid Eyeliner in the shade 01 Velvet Black. It's got an interesting end to it. It's got like a, a little flat nubby end. Yeah, I don't know how to say it, but a flat end to it. Right, I can't really speak while doing this on, on camera, so I'm just going to just going to line my eyes so hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing as best I can. So I'm going to take that, line Right, I'm going to put on some mascara, so I'm going to be using the Mas Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara and it's got an absolutely massive big wand to it. I'm going to start by applying that to my lashes. Oh. Now my favourite mascara from them, um, do you guys know the uh, Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara? It's the one in that black tube. That is actually my, that's actually my very, very, very first mascara. That's the very first mascara I ever wore when I was really young. And it was my favourite, my only favourite. <laughs> so if you see that one in the shops, definitely get it because that one is really good. And their Masterpiece Max is good as well. And that one's in the golden packaging. That one is really good as well. Okay, so that is the eyes pretty done. I'll come back, I'll finish off the bottom lash line a little bit later, but I'm going to be going moving on to my face. So I'm going to be using the Radiance Lift Long Lasting All Day Hydration SPF 30 Foundation, and it's in the shade 33 Crystal Beige. And I'm going to mix it in with the uh, Max Factor Miracle Glow Pro Illuminator. This was the lightest um, uh, cool... Uh, wall tone foundation I found because I'm more on the yellow side, my wall tone, that's the lightest one I found. Okay, so I'm just going to add the foundation to my face. Oh, this might be a little bit too dark for me. No. But I've said this one, I mean, the undertone is right, the undertone is correct, definitely, but the colour might be just a tiny bit too dark. But that's okay, we've got concealer for that. So I'm just going to dot that on my face. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god, yeah. You can see it's definitely very glowing. So I'm going to mix these two in there together. It feels quite hydrating as well. It feels very hydrating. Right, take my beauty sponge and I'm going to start mixing and blending those two together. I mean, if I did have a tan, this would be pretty much ideal because then with my bronzer and that, this would go really nice with it. But, anyway. Oh, that's got insane coverage. Ooh. I'm really sorry, guys. I did forget to film this. I'm sorry. Um, I did already prime my skin. I already primed it um, before I did my foundation. I used the uh, Max Factor uh, Miracle Prep Primer. It's a colour correcting and cooling primer. Antibiotic vitamin blend breathable formula. But I can show you what it looks like anyway. It's like a green tint. So I'll show you in the back of my hand. It's like a, it's like a green tint. 
um, primer. It is super nice. It's really cooling, really nice on the skin. And it just gets rid of all that redness. Obviously, when you put your foundation on top, you're not going to see any of this. So, right, to sort of uh, balance out this yellowness we've got going on, and we've got, got the concealer. So this is the Max Factor Radiant Lift Long Lasting and Radiant Concealer. Um, all day wear, vitamin C and E, and I've got the shade over there. And it's got a nice, it's got a uh, little sponge end applicator. So sort of very similar to the Maybelline Anti-Age Rewind Concealer. So quite similar to that, but this one's very small. Right, I'm gonna start by applying this under my eye area. So I'm just gonna apply this everywhere, and I mean it here. Whoa! Okay, that's a lot of product. I'm gonna bring this on the high points as well. That primer felt amazing. That green primer was just super cooling and it just balanced out all that redness I had. So nice. Pretty much applied this concealer everywhere. Take my beauty sponge and I'm just going to start blending it out. Oh, a little brightening. Oh yeah. Before I set that face in place, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that illuminator because I don't actually have a highlighter from them. So I just would like to apply just a little bit more where the well, highlighter actually obviously goes. So. Yeah, just give it more of a natural glow. Right, to set the face in place now, oh, I'm glowing now, um, I'm going to be using the Max Factor Miracle Velvet Radiant Loose Powder. So this is doesn't have a shade name on it, it's just a nice golden glow powder. Right, taking my big, just taking a fluffy brush, just going to set my face in place with that powder. Set my under eye area as well with it. Okay, moving on to our brows. I'm going to be using the Max Factor Brow Shapener Ultra Fine Shape Fill Define, and I'm in the shade 20 Brown. So you've got your your pencil on one end, and then you have your spoolie on the other. Right, I'm going to start doing my eyebrows. Just going to get my mirror in place. Right, I think that's the eyebrows done. It's a very natural colour, very natural every day. So now I'm going to start warming up my face. So I'm going to be using the Max Factor Cream Bronzer in the shade 10 Bronze. Looks really cool. It looks like a little a little planet. Take a medium sized fluffy brush. I know I use my angle brushes, but I just fancy using this sort of brush today. So I'm going to take that bronzer. This bronzer's nice. If you want that sort of um, golden y glow bronzer, this is really nice. I'm going to go love in this bronzer. Right, I'm now going to moving on to blush. So I've got the Max Factor Cream Puff Blush and it's in the shade 10 Nude Mauve. I don't know why, I just fancied wearing a really neutral blush today, but this is the one we're going to be wearing. Right, so I'm just going to take that same brush, just lazy. <laughs> I'm going to take the same brush, whirl it around. Oh yeah, that is really neutral. It is a very natural pinky colour. Not too much. I do feel like how I mean I know this highlight is natural, but I want to get more of an intense glow. So um, I'm just gonna use that because I really, really loved it. Just gonna take it on this um, smoky eye brush. Just gonna take that colour. I just want to apply it here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah, that's better. 
we want more of a golden glow. I felt like wearing gold today. So yeah, that is pretty. Right, as you guys know the drill, it's how I take my loose powder, back on my fluffy brush, and we're gonna clean up them ended. Just gonna clean them up and make them look a little bit sharper. Right, I've got my hair down, I'm gonna finish my lower lash line now, so I'm just gonna go back in with uh, I'm just gonna go back in with that transition colour from the Optima Nudes and I'm just gonna smoke that on my lower lash line, I'm just taking that same angle. Um, highlighter. Well, I'm using that like I used with the highlighter, but I'm using the other end now. And I'm just going to pack that under my lower lash line. A little bit more smoke. Right, I'm going to add that gold onto my waterline. So I'm going to go back into that bright gold colour. I'm going to take the other sponge applicator. I'm just going to take that gold colour and add that. So I did forget to buy a pencil, so... Right, I'm going to be moving on straight to lips. So I have this Max Factor product right here. This is the Lip Finity, and this is in the shade 108. So it's a really nice um, dark red wine colour. So I'm just going to be applying this. They did have a a lip balm with it, like it came with this and a, and a lip balm in a black tube, but I lost it, so luckily I have my trusty, um, I have my trusty Carmax here to uh, set it with. <laughs> you could just use any Vaseline really, um, if you accidentally lose the other end. So I'm just going to be applying that. Oh, it's a gorgeous colour. As you guys know, I love my vampy colours, so... Ah, love this colour so much. Love this colour. Right, so just while I'm waiting for this to dry and to set the face in place, I'm going to be using the Max Factor Lasting Performing Performance Setting Spray. Just going to give it a good shake. Just get my hair back. Give it a good shake. This one's a very light gentle mist. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of my Carmax um, lip balm, just a little bit of this, just to put, now my lips are dry, just going to apply a little bit of that, just to, you can use anything, just like a Vaseline will do. And that is it guys, this is the completed look, this is the full face of Max Factor. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Loving these eyeshadow palettes. I've been having, I've had these eyeshadow palettes for years and I love them, they blend so nicely. So yeah, very impressed, really enjoyed everything. Loved filming this and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Watching me try it on, get ready with me and all that jazz. So yeah, I'm now gonna go out and meet my boyfriend. We're gonna go out for dinner now. So thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.